Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to another video. Today, we're just going to quickly go over what is meant by filter characteristics uh, specifically to Butterworth filters and what's really desired out of a filter and just basically what filters do. Okay, so in previous videos, we've been talking about transfer functions of filters and we've shown some Bode plots of how those signals are attenuated over given ranges of frequencies. Usually when we're designing a filter, we're trying to eliminate frequencies of a specific range whether it be very high frequencies or very low frequencies. This can be used in musical instruments or if you've seen on an amplifier where you're able to tune the volume of different ranges of frequencies so you can have it bassier if you want or if you want more treble or mids. Essentially, when we're designing filters, we have a set of characteristics which we like to be able to achieve. I think the best way to start this is with an example. Now when we're discussing Butterworth filters, Butterworth filters have simply been designed to give specific characteristics in the pass band and in the stop band. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have the Bode plot of a signal here, where this is our 0 dB, in other words, the signal is being passed through unattenuated, and then you have two poles at an arbitrary omega value. If our filter is a low pass filter, we want all the frequencies below this given omega point to be passed through unattenuated. However, ideally, we want all of the frequencies after omega to be stopped, like this. In reality, however, it doesn't work like this. In other words, this is our pass band, and this is our stop band. Now, if this was a high pass filter, this would be our stop band, and this would be our pass band, and our Bode plot would be reversed. Okay, so let's see some characteristics of Butterworth filters. Butterworth filters aim to have the entire pass band to have a gain of zero decibels. In other words, the output signal is exactly the same as the input signal. Then, at the omega point, there is a negative 3 dB drop-off. And then, for every pole at omega, there is a negative 20 decibel per decade drop-off. So the things to remember with your filters are the pass bands, and if you can afford to have any ripples in your pass band, which would cause certain frequencies to be passed through at a higher amplitude or lower amplitude than what's intended, as well as the roll-off of your stop band. For instance, if you had a large amount of frequencies at this point here, omega plus a small value, let's call that alpha, if you had a lot of signals at this point, you would need to have a steeper roll-off to try and reduce the amount of signals which get passed through. Okay, so that's most of the information which you need to know about the characteristics for what we're going to cover in future videos. There are a few other things which I want to go through now. Those are known as frequency transformations. Okay, so what is meant by frequency transformations? Well, in the example above, we talked about low-pass and high-pass filters. A standard first-order Butterworth filter can be given by its transfer function, T of S, equals 1 over S plus 1. This is a low-pass Butterworth filter which will have a negative 3 dB frequency at 1. And why is that? Because our S term is J omega, therefore we would have a pole at that position. If we wanted to move this negative 3 dB frequency, we could simply substitute in a value for S. If we want to convert a low-pass to low-pass, With simply shifting the negative 3 dB frequency, we must replace S with S over our new omega value, where our omega is our negative 3 dB frequency. If we wanted to convert from low pass to high pass, we must replace S with omega naught, our new 3 dB frequency, divided by S. In which case, our body plot of our high pass filter would look something like this. where our negative 3 dB frequency would be our omega naught. Okay guys, that's all for this video. This is going to be helpful for the next few videos, so it's important that you know it. Uh, if you had any problems at all, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.